again, this is an apples kind of thing, what I've just gone through. And really, you know, all we're doing now is we're competing against, instead of competing against Amazon, who's in a marketplace, we're now competing against a different brand in a marketplace, okay? So, let's just pull up Merchant Words. So the thing what I do if I'm going to go into a marketplace is I want to look at uh, what, is the, what is the competitive landscape of the marketplace, who is in the market, who am I going to com be competing against, okay? So you can do that very, very simply with merchant words, just to go and have a look who's actually out there competing. They will show you super, super easy who's actually out there, who's you're going to be competing against. But if we're in Australia, for instance, well, now we can go have a look at who's selling Bosch drills. So let's have a look on Amazon for Bosch drills. Okay, but what about just ordinary drills? Let's have a look who's selling those. So the Amazon's choice for this is a Black & Decker. We've got Stanley. That's a brand I've never heard of, Kitsch Wit. Oh my God, try saying that after a few glasses of wine, Kitsch Wit. Bosch Devault. Tool for DIY, again, I have personally never uh, heard of that, given that it's pink. Oh, it's for ladies, okay, cool. Baumer, blah, blah, blah. So, look at your landscape, look at your landscape. And the thing what you've got to consider is, um, again, don't try, if you're going to go up against a brand, you've got to make yourself different. You've got to make yourself different to the brand because all things being equal, if you just get the customer to make an apples to apples comparison, if there is a brand name that is well known, that is roughly the same price as yours, the brand name will win. The brand name will win, which is why, you know, it's a good idea for you to create your own brands. So you don't want to do that. You want to get people to make an apples to oranges comparison so that you offer something different, you offer something unique. That's what you've got to try and do. Don't try and compete with a brand that spends multi-millions of dollars like Black & Decker or Bosch does every single year to be at the front of somebody's mind. Don't try and do that. Instead, find yourself a niche that you can carve out. Now, here's the good news. On Amazon, uh, brand name searches are a lot less common than you would think, which is something Amazon's trying to rectify. But when people come to Amazon, they do not, under most circumstances, type in uh, Bosch drill. They type in drill or they type in drill for whatever it may be, okay? Electric drill, cordless drill, whatever it may be. They type that in. So they're not necessarily looking for uh, brand names. So if we look here, if you just put a little, that may be a little trick that you've never seen before. Just show you that. If you put a asterisk before the search term, it'll tell you all of the searches that happen on Amazon before the word drill. So we've got cordless drill, nail drill, drill brush, bloody bloody blah, 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 diamond painting kit, full drill, etc. But if you do it afterwards, and you would have seen this, I'm sure. Oops. Dunk. And then just do a A, B, C, etc. etc. You can get all the data that way too. But Merchant Words has all that, so you know. Uh, so you gotta you gotta Stop people making an apples to apples comparison by making your product different. If you do that, then you carve out a niche for yourself and that's how you make money on Amazon or that's one of the ways you make money on Amazon anyway. That's what I would do. If I was in your situation, Florin.
Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business and the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon and indeed Anthony who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.